Thank you. On the first day of the Senate, the presiding officer and I had the honor today of um, escorting uh, the, I guess we call him a second term senator now from Georgia, Senator Warnock. He, he was elected once to a two-year term, now to a six-year term, and uh, he chose Senator Kane and me to walk him down the aisle, which is an honor that I consider a great honor. I think my friend from Virginia does too. And I know he can't respond sitting in the presiding officer chair, so a nod would be good enough. So thank you. Mr. President, I rise today to recognize and honor my long, long time friend, fellow Ohio and colleague, Representative Marcy Captor from Toledo. For 30 years, I've had the privilege of working alongside Marcy when I was a member of the House and now representing Ohio as the senior senator from the state. And for 40 years, Marcy's dedicated her life to serving the people of Toledo and Northwest Ohio, and actually her district when one particularly egregious map of redistricting sent her all the way to Cleveland. Um, she represented all along Lake Erie there and did it so well. She's a passionate, principled advocate for the Ohioans whom she serves. Today, today, starting with whatever bedlam's happening down, straight down the hall in the House of Representatives, today Marcy Captor's beginning the first day of her 41st year in the Congress. No woman in the history of this country has served in the House or the Senate or the House and Senate combined more than 40 years. I believe Barbara Mikulski, whom we saw earlier today, House member for years, Senator, I believe 10, Senator for 30 years. She, um, she escorted Senator Van Hollen down the aisle today um, along with, um, uh, with Senator Cardin. Uh, she, Marcy broke the record of those 40 years that uh, Senator Mikulski served. Marcy is the granddaughter of Polish immigrants. She comes from a working class Catholic family. Her father was a trucker and an auto worker, small businessman. Her mother worked at the Champion Spark Plug Factory, which of course she did. She helped organize workers to form a union. Marcy's story echoes that of so many of her generation. Her parents worked hard and with, with the help of that union card, earned their way to a better life for their children. Marcy was the first in her family to graduate from high school, then the first in her family to graduate from college. Marcy Kaptur never forgot those roots from her work for Ohio's Polish and Ukrainian communities to her championing of all Ohio workers. Blue collar, white collar, African American, Latino, Asia, workers regardless whether they punched a clock or swiped a badge or worked for tips. Unemployment reached almost 20% in Toledo in the early 80s when she first ran for office. She said this, it was the condition of working people that drove me to change my life and run for office. She's lived up to that ideal, fighting for working families in Ohio every day she served in Congress. She stood up for Americans. She stood up to corporate interests over and over through her whole career. Marcy and I worked together my first year in the House, her, I believe, 11th year in the House, fighting against the North American Free Trade Agreement because we knew it would cause job loss across Ohio and around this country. Unfortunately, time has proved that right. And since then, as, as Marcy and I have fought trade deal after bad trade deal after bad trade deal, she's been an ally and leader in that fight for a trade policy that puts workers first, not corporate interests, not stock, not not stock portfolios, not rich people first, put workers in small businesses first. That fight's paid off. This year, with a new president and a new Senate, we passed the CHIPS Act, we passed the Inflation Reduction Act, we passed the Inf Inf Infrastructure and Investment and in Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, we passed the strongest Buy America language ever in federal legislation, bringing supply chains home, creating an economy that puts American workers, American jobs, American production first. It's Intel in Columbus, it's first solar in Wood County up Marcy's Way. We've worked together to protect Ohio's greatest natural resources, Lake Erie, our economy couldn't function without it. My favorite trivia, a piece of trivia about Lake Erie, five great lakes. Lake Erie is the smallest, the shallowest, shallow is 30 feet in the western basin. Of all the great lakes, Lake Erie has 2% of the water, but 50% of the fish. Lake Superior has 50% of the water and 2% of the fish. That's why keeping Lake Erie is so important to my state, so important to the environment, so important to marine life and all that suggests. Marcy's been a leader in veterans issues too. She wrote and introduced the legislation 
designating the World War II Memorial. I'm grateful for all she's done as veterans. She's been a real, a real role model for a lot of us. Over the summer, we passed the PACT Act to ensure that veterans exposed to toxic substances, those football field size uh, uh, burn pits, especially in Iraq and Afghanistan, that so many soldiers, so many of our servicemen and women were exposed to. We've passed the PACT Act so they will get the kind of coverage they need. Marcy Kaptur was there for that. A few weeks ago, we announced the restoration of the pensions of hundreds of Toledo Union roofers made possible by our Butch Lewis Act. It took years of fighting. We got it done. Now hundreds of thousands uh, literally a million workers around the country, 100,000 in Ohio, can breathe easier knowing that pensions they were promised, they earned at the bargaining table, they gave up wages today so that they could put money aside for those pensions that those pensions are protected. We secured more than $180 million in funding for Ohio to make a difference for communities across Ohio. She's gone to bat time and again for the American auto industry. Never bet against American workers in the American auto industry. That's what Marcy's all about. And look how that fight pays off. We make Ohio workers the future of the auto industry. GM's recent investment in Toledo. Honda's investment near Columbus. None, possible, none had been possible without Marcy. That scrappy fighting spirit is one that quali of the qualities I love most about my state, the workers in my state. You see it in abundance in Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur. No one fights harder for Northwest Ohio. No one. You can see the love and respect folks have for Marcy everywhere you go. I remember going to a rally in Toledo for President Obama. People were excited to see him. I guess a few people may have noticed I was there too, but what I really noticed is when Marcy walked in, someone screamed Marcy and it was pandemonium. Uh, everyone got to their feet like a rock star had just taken the stage. Because in Toledo, she is a rock star. She's a fighter for the people of my state. She's a fighter for women in her district, in, congressmen, in Congress, and all over the country. When she first joined the House, think back to this. There were fewer than two dozen women serving in Congress just 40 years ago. She helped blaze a trail for so many women, even told, told the stories of the women who paved the way in her book, Women of Congress, a 20th Century Odyssey. Frankly, not a very long book when she wrote it. It would be, it would be an exp increasingly expansive volume today. Having Marcy in Congress matters for so many reasons. It matters the, for the perspective she brings, especially as the daughter of working class parents in our industrial heartland. It matters for little girls in Toledo who for 40 years have looked at pictures of their representative in the local news and not seen another guy in a suit but someone who looks more like them, someone they could grow up to be. Uh, to Marcy Kaptur, I know she's still sitting in the House as they're trying to elect a speaker. I don't pretend to understand the complexities of that. But as she does that, I just say, Marcy, thank you for your service to Ohio. Thank you for your service to workers. I hope we get to keep working with you for years into the future.